It's 12 o'clock and it's that time when we all take a moment away from the hustle and bustle of the day to get refreshed, meditating on the Word of God in season. Welcome to lunch. We broadcast 12 noon every weekday, bringing you words from different denominations and helping you fight the good fight of faith. Oh my Lord, sing hallelujah. me today a man with genuine passion for the community welcome to lunch new backlet hello you did that well <laughs> thank you okay. how are you doing i'm doing fine thank you very much thank you so much for stopping for lunch no no yeah, that's fine it's no problem <laughs> so tell us about your passion for the community <laughs> well i think it all started with um i woke up with a from a dream and in the dream I had Acts 18 verse 10 mm -hmm. as the second part of the verse which says I have many people in this place mm -hmm. so I sort of woke up to the fact that we're living in a in a town over a hundred thousand people mm -hmm. and God has many people in this place therefore we have a responsibility to that now what happened was I went to a two-day leadership conference mm -hmm. and somebody came up and prayed for me and we went out for a prayer time and three people prayed for me and the first person came and he came to me and he spoke to me and he prayed and then he stopped and he said so I believe God is saying I have many people in this place Amen. and then I can't remember what the second person said not to diminish what they said <laughs> but the third person came and they were all independent so they didn't ever hear one and he came and prayed and he said, Neil, I believe God is saying, I have many people in this place. Mm. So we live in this town and there's over a hundred thousand people in this town. So how can we ever be content just to be a, a happy church family, just look after one another as so, so, And There is a part to play in that I understand, but we have a part to play for our community. So that's what we're about mm. and we're about this town, we have a little say, and uh, and that is, we are in this town for this town. Amen. So that's where it's that's where it's at. And I mean, I'm not the orchestrator of all of those things. So there are other people who get involved, mm -hmm. and they have ideas and how we can reach people in our community for the goodness of the gospel. Amen. So that's that's really what gets me going. Amen. So how have you been doing this? Uh, that's a good question. So we have done what people do. We have, we have teamed up with um, CAP, which is Christians Against Poverty. Okay. So we have seen over 50 families come through out of debt, having their debts completely removed. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's been a great journey. Mm -hmm. We look after the homeless in we're part of a group of churches that look after the homeless and we take them once a week during the coldest months of the year from January through to March and we uh, feed them and we um, have, give them a bed for the night, a place where they can shower and they can have laundry done and so they can just have a sense of dignity and value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the homeless thing and um, we worked with uh, adults with learning difficulties mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have now got a group of adults that meet and the leaders that run that. That wasn't my idea, that was somebody else's idea mm -hmm. and uh, I could see they had the capacity to run with it and, and it's up and running and they're a really lovely part of our community. So they're a community and, and we've now found them the part of our community. It's a really, it's quite wonderful. Mm -hmm. And just recently um, there's a team in the church that have set up what they call King's Table. And they, on a Sunday, uh, later on in the afternoon, I think they have a meal mm -hmm. for people who have addictions. Mm -hmm. And they have a good team who understand all, everything that's necessary for people with addictions. Mm -hmm. And uh, they give them a meal. And they, again, they can use the facilities in terms of showering and, and so forth. So we're trying to look after people. Yeah. So this is the community in which we are. Um, mm -hmm. We want to help 
those who we can really help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We also have um, a group that have set up um, that are working amongst sexually exploited women mm -hmm. and that's just getting off the ground at the moment but there's been two years of prayer mm -hmm. that has gone into this mm -hmm. and now we are beginning to have a look as to how that can, how can we really help, really help and change lives mm -hmm. of those women who are being sexually exploited. So we're in our town for our town. Amen. And our town Amen. is really important. Amen. You're definitely doing a great job. Well done. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> For someone watching today, how exactly is this helping the kingdom? It is the kingdom. It is the kingdom. We bring, we're people of the kingdom of God. So wherever we go, we bring a blessing to the community, wherever we are, whether at work or at home or amongst our neighbors or friends or family bringing the kindness and the presence of God. So we're in this town for this town. Mm -hmm. And that's just a regular feature of what we say. So in Jeremiah's day, mm -hmm. you know, they were into exile. Mm -hmm. And they were exile in Babylon. And God tells them to seek the peace in the city. Seek the peace. Where? Babylon. And, and to bless it. So that Babylon would be blessed. Why? Because they're in a place where there are foreigners and there are people who do not know the kingdom of God and they're there to bring the presence, the kindness and the grace and power of God into their, into the place in which God has exiled them. So they are ministers of the gospel. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much thank for having you. me. And thank you for your fellowship today. If this has blessed you, you know what to do. Like, comment and share. Keep fighting the good fight of faith and I shall see you tomorrow.